Hey guys, Joe here. So, after years and years of wanting one, I finally got myself an actual rotisserie. Um, this is the Cook's Essentials Rotisserie by QVC. Uh, they went to Ronco, got the design or had them build theirs. Uh, basically, it looks exactly like the original Ronco set in a forget it style, which is what I prefer. And this just arrived yesterday in this ginormous box that you see already open. Uh, so this is just going to be a very quick overview of what it came with. And then maybe later on in the day, I will do a cook and we'll see what happens. So as you can see, it comes with the, the book, instructions, uh, all the different parts, different starter recipes, warranty card. Okay. Those are being held, ironically enough, by the spit. Okay. Which comes separately, two parts. Very easy to put together. You just have to remember to push them in when you put something on it so that it'll fit the width of the unit. Okay. And here's the drip pan with the boiler pan under it. So it's going to catch all those natural juices. Uh, maybe use some of those for gravy depending on what you're making. Let's say maybe a turkey or a roast. Comes with its its own version of twine okay comes with the stand that you've seen on TV so for those that have ever been to like let's say a Brazilian steakhouse you know what I'm talking about okay you know you can stand up the meat as soon as you're done cooking it and then slice it that way this interesting thing is a heat shield and it says that you need to put this behind the element when you're cooking, okay, much like with the drip pan, these have to be in the unit when you are using it. So I'm going to do that after I'm done making this video, okay. I am assuming to prevent burning of either the unit or maybe the back of the wall that you have it in front of, okay. And this comes with the basket. All right, so you can put stuff, vegetables, chops, like maybe thick cut pork chops, chicken thighs, chicken breasts, uh, maybe thick cut burgers. I mean, anything you can think of, okay? And, you know, very easy to take it apart and put it back together if need be, okay? A little bit of a close-up, you do see a little bit of the... I don't know what you call them, but that's where you would put the, the spit so that it can turn. Okay, I'll definitely be using this probably more often than the regular spit, but I don't know. We'll see. And it does come with the gloves. So the heat gloves. And they, you know, they, they, they feel very comfortable. You know, I tried them on earlier, you know just to break them in and I like them I mean I feel like if I'm gonna take some hot food out or the hot spit out you know I'm not gonna burn myself probably also good enough for the grill I don't know we'll see um, so yeah and actually the unit itself if I could go back up just a bit gives you an idea now anyone that knows me knows I like cooks essentials and the last major purchase I got was the air fryer, the 5.3 quarters, matter of fact, which is right next to it. Give you an idea of the size comparison between the two. Uh, the air fryer is by no means small, but compared to the rotisserie, they call this the Ultimo rotisserie. Okay. You get the idea. Um, I'm still going to be using this, obviously. Uh, I, I make burgers on this. I make, you know, chicken tenders, french fries, you know, shout out to this thing. I like Cook's Essentials stuff. And then right next to it, I have yet another Cook's Essentials product, the four-quart pressure cooker. I use this for, like, sides, pastas, 
Uh, mac and cheese is my favorite thing to make. I've made chilies on this. Um, I mean, you know, this was supposed to be a rotisserie video, but yeah, kind of like a little mini Cook's Essentials video. I just like the products. I think they're very well made. I'm very happy with them. Um, you know, oh, one last thing. I don't think my light's that great here, so I apologize for that. So you have the dial. It's an analog dial. Okay. And you can't really see it. Looks like it goes up to two hours here. Like Once again, I apologize for the bad lighting on here. But, you know, seeing this infomercial on QVC, you know, they have an idea that's going to be two hours. And you have your three... Your three uh, settings here, okay. So basically, if you put the, the knob all the way to the left, the spit will rotate without any heat. If you go into the middle, which I, su I suspect 90% of us will do 90% of the time, the spit will rotate with the heat on. Okay, and then all the way to the right, you get the searing function so you get the opposite you get the heat without the spit rotating okay and you get that going on obviously if you just do nothing uh, this is supposed to shut off on its own I will confirm that after I do my first cook and right next to it uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna bother because the lighting on this area sucks. But basically, that's the basically you would see the cooking times of your most uh, common foods like chicken, prime rib, and for the basket you would see like chops, chicken parts, stuff like that. You know the the you know the cooking times. Um, the pounds per minute if you're using the spit. Oh, by the way, this will do up to a 15 pound turkey. So for those that may use this, maybe a couple times a year, maybe Easter, Easter coming up in a few days, actually. Um, you know, Thanksgiving, obviously, Christmas. Um, you know, you can do this, you know, ham, you know, legs of lamb, what have you. Uh, up to an eight pound ham uh, i believe you could do up to a six pound chicken i'd have to check we'll see i've seen them do two five pound chickens uh at qvc side by side you know i don't see myself doing that a lot but you never know okay so yeah this is it this is my uh going over video of the cook's essentials rotisserie oven uh, on QVC mm -hmm. they came with three colors I chose the black as you mm -hmm. see to match my other devices they also had stainless steel which would also be a very popular unit and they had mm -hmm. red which they say matches any of your KitchenAid appliances um, as far as that goes all right guys signing off later